Um, the Route 6, a story that might get your blood boiling. A man in a wheelchair knocked to the ground and beaten by a pair of teenagers in Racine over the weekend. The two suspects have been arrested, but they might still be on the loose if that victim hadn't done something right before the attack. Our AJ Vipor, he's here with more of this story. AJ. And Brad, good evening. According to the criminal complaint, the victim was coming home when the two teens approached him. They said hi, but he got suspicious and dialed 911 on his phone. When they jumped him, he hit the call button. That call helped police track down the suspects. My head's still relatively sore. Two days after the assault, David Schalzen recovers from a beating that left him with cuts on his head and a sprained knee. For one, wondering what, why, why this was done to me. Schalzen says he was coming home from a friend's house around 2.30 Sunday morning. As he approached the corner of LaSalle and Harmony, his trip became anything but peaceful. According to the criminal complaint, 19-year-old Justin Lyons and 18-year-old Alexander Peach asked Schulzen if they could see his phone. When he refused, one of the teens began striking him in the head and face with both closed fists. The teens left with the phone but suddenly decided to run back and beat David further. When police came, Scholzen was able to tell the officer which direction his attackers went. He did a remarkable job that night. I can't, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I would have been thinking and using my head as much as he did. As word of the assault spread, David's phone, which police found on one of the teens, blew up with text and Facebook messages. Yeah, I mean, friends, family, even people that, you know, I don't know that's, been showing a lot of support. As he tries to figure out why this happened, Schulzen can't help but think it's because he was an easy target. That's the only logical thing, you know, that I can really think of. Well, one of the teens, Justin Lyons, was released on a signature bond. I went to his listed address this afternoon. No one answered the door. Both teens are charged with robbery and substantial battery. Brad, Ann. We hate stories like that, but at least there's a semi-positive outcome exactly. there with the support. Thanks, AJ. Well, it got actually um, pretty nice out there today, you know. I Mild. Think, I think we got near 60 if we didn't break 60. I don't know. How about it there, uh, well, Pumpkin well, it Man? Well, must have. He's outside. I'm, I'm wondering if I should just keep you in suspense for a while. Why not? Yeah, we got to 60. Oh, phew. Most of us got to 60. Not everybody, and we'll talk about that in a little bit coming up. What we do have out there right now, besides some mild temps, a few showers trying to move back in. Check out the radar real quick.